start off the tutorial on how to make animated sprays for games that use the Source Engine, such as Half-Life 2 Deathmatch or Counter-Strike Source or Day of Defeat Source, uh, we're going to start off by getting the essential software that we need in order to complete our processes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the internet and we're going to type in in Google Adobe After Effects CS4 and we're going to click it should be the first link and we're not going to buy it what we're going to do is we're just going to download the free trial and what you're going to need to do is once you click the download button you're going to need to make an account and what you're going to get is this page uh, just fill it out you don't have to make stuff up just fill it out honestly it's quicker that way then you're going to click continue and then and then it's going to download it, and then once you download it, you're going to install it, and then you're going to let it run. Okay, we're going to start up Adobe After Effects CS4. And once it's started up, it'll give you this uh, software setup screen. You just want to click the I'd like to continue to use this product on a trial basis. And we're going to go ahead and close that little window. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the animated GIF or GIF file, however you pronounce it. We're going to scroll down to import in the file tab. And we're going to import file. Now mine was uh, funny. And generally you want to make sure the, the animated picture that you're using is preferably not over like a half a megabyte or so because there is a certain file size that you do not want to exceed once we're done. So once you uh, select your animated picture you're going to double click on it. Uh, we've done that. We're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Export, and we're going to export them as an image sequence. We're going to go ahead, select TGA, select 30 frames per second, press OK, and we're going to save it in empty folder. I would suggest it on the desktop for now. I made my folder, just named a GIF. You don't have to name a GIF or GIF, whatever you just name whatever you want and I'm gonna save it as dance and we're gonna select save and it's gonna go ahead and process that once you've saved it uh, you wanna go to the folder on your desktop where you saved all them to and it's gonna each one of these is an individual frame from the animated GIF file what we're gonna do with those frames is we're gonna import them using a software for the software we're gonna use we're gonna go back on the internet and the software is called VTF Edit we're just going to go ahead and Google it. It should be like the first result. We're going to click on there and we're going to click installer. And you're going to download the installer. I already downloaded it, so we're going to do that. And what you're going to do is you're going to install the software and then you're going to run it. And when I run it, it should look something like this. So, in order to use this, first we're going to go to file, import, and then you're going to import to, you're going to navigate to the file where you saved all those individual frames are and we're going to highlight all of them and we're going to click open now what you want to do generally and preferably you want to set the clamp width and height to 128 by 128 and in advance keep the quality at high but if I do this you'll notice if you go to the info tab it's over 128 kilobytes and the problem with this is if the file is over 128 kilobytes it can cause some errors and it's probably not going to work so in order to fix this we're gonna go ahead click new we're gonna reselect everything I'm gonna click open and instead of 128 by 128 we're gonna go 64 by 64 and keep in mind it has to be the uh, the width and height has to be the same and it cannot be over 128 so it's either 128 or below make sure they're both the same I'm gonna click OK and if we go to info you'll see it's 107 kilobytes per now that we got that, we're going to go to Options and make sure that Auto Create VMT file is selected. You're going to need that. Make sure that is selected, and then you're going to hit the Save button. And I'm just going to save this to the same file where all those individual frames are. And I'm going to make it Dance. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and exit out of this. Now you're going to go to the folder where you saved all your individual frames and you're going to get this and this. These are the two files you're going to be using. 
in order to spray the animated picture in the game. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste these files. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to your computer. And basically, you're going to go to your program files. And you're going to go to your Steam folder. And then you're going to go to Steam apps. And then you're going to go to the file, which is your username. And then for Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, you're going to go to Half-Life 2 Deathmatch folder. Half-Life 2 Multiplayer. Then you're going to go to Materials. Then you're going to go to VGUI. Then you go to Logos. And you copy and paste the two pictures in here. And then, once it's copy and pasted in here, dance and dance, you're going to exit out of all of this. Then all you have to do is you're going to start up Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Then what you're going to do is you're going to select the drop-down menu for your spray and you're going to find the name that you saved your animated picture as and then you're going to click OK. Just go into the server and spray your picture and you're done.